We're having trouble retaining and engaging employees. Any guidance on keeping our employees and making sure that they're simultaneously engaged? Let's face it, retention and engagement are real challenges right now. And they're not just challenges holding back business performance. Legal should be concerned as well. Why? Well, three reasons. Number one, litigation activity increases when employee engagement decreases. Number two, solving the challenges of the labor shortage with incentive compensation, automation, artificial intelligence, snazzy benefits, each of these new ideas require compliance assessments. We have to stay engaged in the conversation about retention and satisfaction if we want legal's voice to be heard. And three, as employee expectations and leverage shift, so does the strain on management. Strained management is a litigation risk. We are in an era of spectacular levels of stress and widespread dissatisfaction, and it's bubbling into a boil of defiance. Defiant supervisors break the rules. Defiant employees quit and file claims. Exasperated executives demand policies that are sometimes more reactive than proactive. Legal should be at the table when we talk about the mystery of why everyone is so disappointed with work these days. And here's the first step. It's not what you might think. Take a deep breath and remind yourself, I am an employee too. The first step to engaging and retaining employees is good old fashioned empathy. In fact, many studies on human behavior and the effects of stress at work point toward an opportunity to engage employees through two simple concepts, trust and care. What if any employee, even the in-house lawyer, can say what they might have already been thinking? I don't think this idea is very caring towards our employees. Or, I trust the workforce to get the job done in the best way they can. How would employees respond? How would you feel if someone gave you that level of trust and care? We can start building that kind of trust and care that increases employee engagement with a few of the simple tools employers have lost sight of during the pandemic. Teach and encourage managers to communicate effectively. Allow them to be vulnerable and share the business challenges that they face. Create employee-facing promotion and training opportunities that consider the long term, not just this week's emergency. Try new schedules and flexible solutions, and be upfront that for now it's an experiment. Never hesitate to demonstrate care for yourself, your colleagues, your direct reports, and your company. Give positive feedback. The positive feeling from recognition, from being seen, can compound and lead to more engagement and trust from employees. And we all need that, now more than ever. For more information on engaging employees in today's workplace, reach out to your Littler attorney or visit us at littler.com. <laughs>